Well, thanks for joining us on this video podcast, Talking Survivor. No shows going on right now, so I thought we'd interview some applicants. Today, we have Marcus Martin. He's applied several times, and he's applying again. Let's see what's up. Hey, Marcus. Thanks for having me on the show. It's a great show. I love listening to it. A guy your age, tell us. Are you going to be another Chet or Chicken Man? Chet and Chicken Man? you got to be kidding me. What bad choices. Let me tell you how I could be better than both those guys. Neither of them had a social game. I know how to work with people. I know how to get along with people, men, women, old, young. I can handle it. And physical game. I'm older and smaller than both of those guys, but I know I'm in much better shape. I can do well in the contest. I do well around camp. No problem. What will be your biggest challenge? I think all of it's going to be a big challenge. I'm not a great outdoors guy. I don't like different kinds of food. Uh, actually, I plan on just not eating the whole 39 days, so any food I get will be a bonus. Uh, I think it's all going to be a challenge, but again, it's a social game, and I think that's where I'm going to excel. I think people will be surprised at the kind of social game that I play. Tell us about your physical game. I told you one of the problems with Chet and Chicken Men was their lack of physical game. I'm in good shape. Work out, walk, I officiate softball, basketball, so I'm in good shape. I also know what it's like to work when it's hot and not have any food. So I know I'd do much better. I'm not saying I'm going to win the Olympics, I may not even win any of the challenges, but I'm going to hold my own. And I can work around camp all day long. So I think that'll really pay off. How do you deal with difficult people? I know how to deal with difficult people. I've had angry parents come in. I've had lawyers come in. When I work softball and baseball, I have angry coaches come out screaming, yelling. And let me tell you, they're all bigger than me. And I know how to defuse the situation. I explain what's going on. I get them to trust me, believe in me, believe that I know what I'm doing, and follow along, even if they don't like it. Any tricks up your sleeves? Of course I have some secret strategies. What do you think I'm going to tell you here? Watch the show and see. <laughs> 